Okay, now we've interpolated uh, that attribute AU, which is the gold uh, attribute inside that uh, specific formation, which is the F3. Only what's left now is to calculate the volume of uh, the uh, mesh that we've interpolated. So to do so, we need to create another uh, grid. So we go to Compute New Field. And, okay, so in order to view that, we need to make this here. Now it's visible. Sorry for the other videos. It was not visible. Okay, what we need to do is to tell Gmodeler if if the interpolation of AU in that F3 is, uh, we need to use the operators in here to uh, limit it inside uh, that one and then is none what we can do is to show so we we want the uh, geomodeler to show us only uh, that formation with the interpolation uh, we've limited uh, that with these two arrows in here and other than that uh, we want the uh, geomodeler to uh, show the current grid, uh, grid or current, current model grid other than that and now we need to add another non in here and close this and we are going to call this the env uh, au f3 but this time is the lithology because we want to calculate the volume of that uh, lithology okay now let's go and hide uh, everything let's hide this one too and let's view this uh, let's go and the field visualization manager and view that in 3d and you can see now we're viewing only uh, that uh, interpolated uh, mesh but now as a single lithology because we've limited that to the F3 only using that expression but in order to calculate the volume we need to go to this one to the properties and change the alias to lithology okay and then we click on OK and now what we can do is go to histogram and you can see that we only have the F3 in here right now the F uh, all the other formations are zero and this is actually the volume in cubic meter to the F3 now what you want to do is you multiply th that number by the density to get the uh, tonnage or uh, the the mass of that formation and you can have an idea about your resource estimates now that's it uh, that's it for this one and uh, I hope you guys find it very informative and enjoyed it and learned a few new things. Of course, if you have any questions or anything is not clear, please send me uh, a message or tell me what is it exactly. And I'll be happy to answer all your questions. Uh, also, take a look at our other uh, courses, our other online courses, you might find them useful. And another thing, let me show you guys here, if you go to export, you can go and export the 3D model in, in here, for example, to uh, Prism FIFLOW triangulation, if you want to do some uh, uh, FIFLOW uh, hydrogeological simulations. Uh, you can use the centroids if you centroids if you do if you uh, want that you can export them to shapes uh, to DXF for example to view them in AutoCAD or any other uh, mining software like Serpac or other softwares. Uh, what I do usually is I create the model in here and export them to mining packages because you know mining packages are good for mine planning, for block modeling for uh, pit optimization but the geology modules there are not really that great so I tend to use Geomodeler or sometimes Leapfrog uh, but uh, I really prefer Geomodeler because it is way easier 
uh, in terms of you know you've seen how it, how it was easy to use and uh, uh, that's it you can export anything from here you can sp export them to shape files or whatever you want so uh, see you in another uh, updated video or see you in another course and have a good day